So we've organised a protest against Roger Waters tonight. Okay, now we're going inside and you can see what happens. When he came out wearing that provocative armband, a group of Jewish activists took out flags that said, Hey, Roger, leave us Jews alone. Disgracefully, these Jewish activists were removed from the arena for protesting Roger Waters' blatant anti-Semitism, and that included the daughter of a Holocaust survivor. But it wasn't just Roger, this is what some of his fans had to say. You, do you not care because they're brown? Is that your The Israelis are brown. No, no, the Israelis in Israel are not brown. They're European Jews. No, they're not. Who told you that? Did you know what they're protesting? Yeah. What, what? About Roger's anti-Semitism or whatever it's called. And, yeah, anti-Semitism. So do you think there's any truth to that? No, not at all. So, I'll give you one example of things they were telling me he said. He said that the same people that stopped Jeremy Corbyn from coming into government yeah. are the same people that are trying to stop him from, from playing a gig here. Who do you think those people that could stop a politician being elected are? Who do you think he's talking about? Who are these dark, mysterious forces? Dark, mysterious forces? Someone on the above. Okay, so why would someone on the above not want them to play here? Do you know what? I would actually say... <laughs> I would actually say probably some Jewish people. Okay, and so why do you think Jewish people wouldn't want them to play here? Because of the connection at the beginning to the Nazi thing that he does. What Nazi thing does he do? And does it bother he you? He doesn't do a Nazi thing. Okay, okay. He wears a leather jacket and he's got an armband on which has got two hammers on it. But what's all this? I, I get that. Like if it was a costume and a protest against oppression, against fascism, that makes sense. But then he says that there's a group of people, and you said probably Jews, that are trying to stop him from playing. Do you think that's maybe, at the very least, politically insensitive if he's talking about Jews stopping him from playing and then wearing a Nazi uniform? Well, my views on that are actually quite a bit different because I think that the Jews, which are the money people, which are, you know, the underlying money people, which originally, um, Germany, uh, G the Germans, the Jews, when Hitler took over in the war, he wanted to get rid of the Jews because of the, they ran all the banks and everything. So they're above the political, um, which is like our governments and that. They are running and controlling the world. So, so Jews are controlling the world? Yeah.